Want to know about job opportunities in Saskatchewan? Watch this video till the end to find out more. Hello and welcome to another video. So today as Neha said, we'll be discussing a very, very important topic and that is job opportunities in Saskatchewan. So what we've done is we've categorized different jobs in the categories and we'll discuss with you each category. We'll try to give you some details about those jobs, their pay scales, and also uh, what's the eligibility criteria are, what are the shifts that you'll be working if you take one of those jobs. So do watch this video till the very end. And at the end of this video, we'll also tell you a couple tips and tricks to get you a job in a banking sector and also how to find a job, what are the websites you can look at. And so do watch this video till the very end and also subscribe if you have not subscribed to our channel because we will keep making these informative videos in the future as well. So the first kind of jobs that we will be discussing right now is the survival jobs. Survival jobs uh, are mainly in food industry and retail industry. So, uh, so you can, and there are so many opportunities out there. You can easily get these kinds of jobs. So to talk about food industry, you can get into a fast food restaurant like McDonald's, KFC, or uh, any kind of coffee shop or baking. And retail stores would be like clothing stores, like any kind of electronic shops, like phone outlets, like anything of that, that is a retail industry uh, category. You can easily get a job. Yeah. Uh, and um, the pay scale uh, for these kinds of job is ranging from the starting pay in Saskatchewan, which is $11.45 and, and goes up to like about $14. Now, again, these kinds of job also have an add on thing, which is uh, if you pick up extra shifts or work more than your 40 hours, you get overtime, which is one and a half times to what you actually would get from your basic rate. So that's a plus point. Yeah. Another thing to these, this kind of job is you can easily get a job with no Canadian experience required. Yeah. They need a lot of staff here. So you easily get into this kind of a job. And at the same time, having said that, don't dis get discouraged if you get into a survival job and is stuck for like about two months or three months. Look at the positive side of it, which means you are gaining Canadian experience and at the same time, your income has started. You are not eating up your savings in the meantime. That's right. That's the main focus uh, when you land here is picking up a survival job so that you don't eat your savings out. Yes. And these jobs will help you see your ex basic expenses. Yes. So, uh, but also this is the good thing about survival jobs and, but the other side to it that you have to prepare yourself is you have to be standing long, long hours on your foot, which means you, uh, right. it's not easy, right? right? But at the same time, uh, it's easy to get a job, but the, but the other side of it is that you have to be, uh, open to take up uh, any shifts mm -hmm. like be flexible don't feel bad if you are working on a weekend or if you are working evenings losing out on your family time but again look at the positive side that you got a job like that and you are uh, making up money you are doing good you are gaining experience so uh, that is definitely the positive side of it and the experience that you're going to gain in this survival job is going to help you to get into your own interest or your field job which we will recommend when you are in a survival job, keep applying to the to the other jobs so that the moment you get a good opportunity, you can move on. Absolutely. After survival jobs, the next important category that I would like to discuss with you is getting a job into a finance, banking or insurance sector. Mm -hmm. See, these jobs need some Canadian experience and also they need some sort of certifications. But there is a trick and that we can tell you at the end of this video, if you do that, you can almost guarantee your spot in a banking kind of That's a job. That's right. And why we have more opportunities in this sector is, as you might know, Saskatoon is growing. It's a growing city, which means there is new houses being built in all four directions of Saskatoon. Yes. And which means more banks required to open up in those areas, more insurance offices required to be opened in those areas. Yes. That's why there is a huge demand for those jobs. But they need a very good communication skills and some sort of Canadian experience as well. Some, so, some jobs that are included in this category are a customer service representative in a bank mm -hmm. or a financial service representative 
mortgage broker yeah, or loan types. processing agent and, yeah. and stuff like that. And the pay starts from about $30,000 or $35,000 a year and goes up to fifty grand a year. Yeah, these are more like a more. monthly package and not yeah. hourly. So yeah, and the hours of these jobs are more or less they are office hours. But now, with the growing need of the customers, banks are open up on the weekends as well. So once in a month or twice in a month, if you are working in a bank, you might be asked to come on a weekend. The same with the insurance agencies too. They have their offices open up on Saturdays, and some I know some of the insurance companies are open seven days a week. Yeah, because people visit there to get their licensing done, to get a put a new plate on your vehicles, renew your driver's license, buy an, an uh, extra policy on your vehicle or your home insurance and all. That's right. But this sector is highly, highly in demand. Like they need lots of people. So the next kind of job that we will discuss today is administration and clerical jobs. These kind of job do need a little bit of Canadian experience, which again, as we discussed few minutes ago, in survival jobs, you will get that kind of experience. Right. So um, this kind of job are jobs like receptionist, like data entry kind of a job, or you are an administrative assistant slash office assistant. Yeah. So um, and you definitely need good communication skills right. because you will be on the front face of the company if you're sitting at a receptionist job. Yeah. People have tons and tons of organizing and tons and tons of data entry jobs uh, that are that are required in every office. So they do need candidate who would need who can do this kind of a job. So if you have experience from your home country in a back office operations or you are uh, or you have some kind of an office managing experience, do write that on your resume. Right. So this kind of job is is a typical Monday to Friday job and it is um, just eight to five or nine to five jobs. So the plus point is if you have a family, you do get a very good work life balance. To talk about the pay scale of this kind of job, it ranges from about $15 to $25 on a higher end. There are ample opportunities. There are many companies who always need people who can work in an administration yeah. or at the front or receptionist clerk or somebody who can take the phone calls and messages. If you pick up a survival job, gain that experience and see how people talk to each other. What are the kind of slangs they use here? Exactly. And then once you gain that experience, you will have more confidence when you appear for an interview for these kind of jobs. So after administration and clerical, the next category that we would like to discuss is information technology. So I, I don't want to discourage anybody, but unfortunately, there are not many IT jobs in this province. There are still some IT jobs like network administration, people who, who can install internet and monitor the networking and and then do uh, database administration basically every company do need an on-site support as well That's right. which means any kind of hardware people who have to install their yeah. equipment every day for a for an office be it bank be it any smallest company everybody needs it support right right so there are not many like big it uh, jobs here but see there are a couple employers here who have recently got a very good contract from the government and they are hiring so many people there is a company called Vendasta and they are hiring so many people in IT industry. Yes. If you have a skill set and you come here, you might get lucky and be, there won't be any competition for you because most of the people who think IT about IT jobs, they go to either Toronto or big cities like Vancouver. Vancouver and all. So when you come here, you might get lucky with your skill set, you get a job right away. So I would say don't be discouraged. You might get a very good job for IT here. If not in Saskatoon, in Regina. Right. So yeah, uh, but the IT jobs pay you really well. Their pay scale starts from 60 to 70 grand a year and it goes up to 90 grand to $100,000 a year. Yeah. So as you might know, just like any other country, IT is a high paying job, which, uh, which is like a, uh, a very good reward if you have that kind of a skill set. So the next category that we'll be talking about is service industry. Service industry is actually consists of two major areas. One is the care home and the second area is the child care centers or daycares. So daycares, as you know, is a place where uh, people who work like both the parents who work, they leave their kids to the daycare centers so that they can uh, 
spend their day there while the parents are at work. This industry is in huge, huge demand. It is. It has ample opportunity. Yes, because government here is promoting people to open up their own daycares and setting up new and new daycares because they want people to go back to work and and they so they should so people who have kids they should have a place where they can leave their kids while they are at work. Yeah. So similar setting to this service industry in, uh, in a daycare center is a care home. Care home are also called like an old age centers where elderly people who have retired and who are dependent on their medical needs they are they live in a in o care homes and so they need people who can who can cater to their needs who can give them medication help them in their yeah. day to day chores so the, both these industries are very very fast emerging and growing and that's why they need more and more people in order to work in this uh, sector if you have couple certifications it can really help you a lot so to work in a daycare like a child care centers if you can uh, get a certification called ECE which is early childhood education level 1 you will be considered uh, as an asset and you will get into this kind of a job very easily and one thing one important thing is that once you have those certifications you can set up your own day care as well so you can be staying home and at and the same time do this and earn earn and you have to be licensed when i say license means you have to take those certifications like first aid and cpr you have to be have a fire extinguisher food safe if you are if you have your own day care and you are offering food to kids then you should have a food safe certificate there But, are some agencies here that provide you all those certifications and and once you get those you can easily get a job in in both these sectors the pay starts uh, at about 16 18 dollars an hour and goes up to 20 25 depending on your certificate the number of certifications you've got so after service industry the next important uh, category that we would like to uh, tell you about is uh, trades like if you are a carpenter if you are electrician plumber or if you work with your hands so trust me guys they are the most rewarding jobs here in canada unlike any other unlike our home country where people who does these kind of jobs are they are not paid well yeah. here things are opposite because if you work with your hands and if you make your hands dirty then you get paid and rewarded accordingly they they work in a tough environment they most of these people they work out and working in a harsh winter but yeah. that's why you are rewarded the basic pay that you get to when you work in a construction or these kind field is you easily start with 20 bucks 30 bucks an hour without any major certification but once you become a journeyman or you become a red seal certification you can get way more like people i have seen getting 80 bucks an hour as well in yeah, this kind of job absolutely it's a very highly uh, respectable job yeah. see this because these jobs are very hands on you need safety certifications for these jobs there are uh, some organizations who help you get those safety certificates like there is an organization called <laughs> Saskatchewan Construction Safety Association SCSA there is a place called Saskatchewan Apprenticeship Trade Certification Commission you go to them you you tell them about your inquired here to change that certification into a journeyman and once you become a journeyman trust me you will be making big bucks Yeah <laughs> exactly yeah. like you can also become a a custodian or a building operator oh, yeah. which is you again a, a course which is uh, what is it called it's it's called a, a custodian and a building service worker program you can yeah. take and you can and you will be working in a school or you will be taking care of a professional office building or any kind of yeah. commercial building yeah. and again you make big bucks big in that bucks. as well oh absolutely or you can become a, you can go into a welding like yeah. welders here make so much money So guys definitely the skilled kind of working job is gets you paid well all you have to do is land here and do those certifications and sometimes if you get hired employers pay for all those certifications exactly so if you are talented and you are skilled in the in any of these fields you find a job like a car mechanic 
Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, the member of that. Yeah, because oh. we pay so much money just to get an oil change, you, you just know, to do anything. Yeah, just a labor job at the car mechanic. They charge you ninety nine dollars an hour. Wow. Ninety nine dollars an hour just to get your basic maintenance on your vehicle done. You must have seen the kind of snow we we get. So people yeah. have to change their roofs a lot. Quite often. Right? <laughs> so roofing so. companies make a lot of money. So people who are not afraid of heights and they can work with the roofing companies. They have knowledge about roofs. So there are endless opportunities. Yeah, so like carpenter, days. electrical, yeah. car mechanic, custodian, or a or a caretaker job. Yeah. So now let's talk about the actual certification that you would need in order to get a banking job. Yeah, so to get into a bank, the certification you need is Canadian Securities course, or you can also do investment funds in Canada. So there there are two courses, CSC and IFC. You can take either of the, either of these courses. and trust me guys this will guarantee almost guarantee your job in a bank uh, when you apply for a job in a bank it's not who humans usually shortlist your resume uh, so there are algorithms that run through your data uh, run through your resume and search for these keywords so if you write in your resume that you've done canadian securities or investment funds course you will be the first one to get a call for an interview yeah. so when you have these two certifications or even one of these two certifications you will be the first one to get a phone call for an interview definitely because financing and banking sector they definitely go with these two certifications as right. a licensed person working yeah. for them so we will leave the link in the description box for the institute that offers these two programs if you already deal with selling mutual funds you can do investment funds in canada course here that will give you license here to sell mutual funds and banks would uh, would would hire you as their financial services representative go to the link in the description box and uh, you can visit the website you can see the course details you can check the price of the like the cost of the course the duration and you can choose which program you want to take now guys you have found out what kind of certifications and everything else about the job market in Saskatchewan now the thing is how to find a job right, right? Yeah. how to find your kind of a job that you that suits your criteria right. so the the very common platforms that people find job here is task jobs so it's a website saskjobs.ca again they, we will we will write the description about that job yeah, in the in the uh, description link below yeah and then the second website that people visit here to find jobs is called indeed.ca and then there are there are a lot of like survival jobs that is easily listed on kijiji.ca Kijiji. yeah. again a local website it's here. a community based website yes, we will list all of these in the description link below perfect also another one important thing that i would like to let you know is before you go for an interview or attempt to apply to any of the jobs we 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 have discussed try to get a driver's license first and remember there are like any other country this country definitely has option for you to go with part time or full time job right. so yeah. don't hesitate if you just can give 4 hours of your day in a job and want to still earn while your kid is away or for whatever reason right. between your partner and yourself that yeah. is the only time left with you yes go ahead and apply for a part time job yeah if you remember when we were new we thought we want to do a full time job we went out to uh, give our resume they used to ask us are you looking for a full time or part time and i used to always say full time not thinking that i should say i am looking for any job like so any should, hour right? so you should basically be open to do any so at least to get a foot in the door you right. can say that you are open to any Anything. and yeah. they you might get a call and so that's see, another trick and see instead of doing one full time job you can end up doing two part times and make more money now to get a successful job you need to uh, all that employer will look at it is your resume and your cover letter so right. cover letter is very important here that describes in nutshell why are you suitable for whatever job you are applying so do highlight your best skill set in it yeah. and how many years of experience you have in that particular job and at the same time your resume should be very crisp very very precise, precise yeah. and just list uh what exactly is your skill set what's your education background and at the same time what kind of experience and how many years you've had for that kind of a job that right. you are applying for and right. at the same time keep references ready right. so be, when you come from your home country do have those managers or those uh, your reporting managers or your supervisors phone number email right. address name handy so when they give you a call you definitely don't have to hunt for it and you right. have at least two references ready so guys all the best for your career path 
for whatever you choose and uh, I hope that you benefit out of this video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, I would say again, please subscribe and we will keep bringing you more informative and family content. Do share it with your friends if they are landing here and they can benefit out of it. And let us know if you have any questions. Yeah, sooner or later you will have a job. Yeah. All the best. Thanks for watching again.